sleepwhisper.com My name is Jason Newland This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes I think this is number or episode 80 Some people may say, well, if I was comfortable, I wouldn't be listening. But I don't mean comfortable emotionally or mentally or, you know, in a relaxed, uh, sleepy state. I mean physically comfortable. For example, not everybody's going to be listening to this in bed. So if you're listening to this whilst sitting in a comfortable chair make sure that you feel comfortable that you're not wearing shoes maybe take them off take your socks off if that you know allows you to feel a bit more freer undo the buttons on your trousers or maybe put some tracksuit bottoms on just it's the little things that can help if you're lying in bed then make sure that you not just that you feel comfortable when you start listening but also remember that you can change sitting whenever you need to you can change the position that your body's in whenever you need to and that may, may sound like a, an obvious statement but I've done hypnosis with people in the past when I'm in the room with them and they're really relaxed and they're really calm Absolutely, you know, really benefit from it and feel great at the end. But they might end up to have a stiff neck at the end because they didn't feel that they were able to move. Because I wasn't saying to them, you can move if you need to. Because I can't feel what you're feeling. Even if you're in the room with me, lying down on a couch or a bed, I don't know what your body is physically feeling. So if you notice any discomfort, then just manoeuvre your body whatever way you need. Whether it means laying on your left side or laying on your right side, in your legs, whatever you need to do, because I know that people also listen to this to have maybe chronic pain issues, and a 
it's about putting yourself first and your well-being and physical comfort first. And I know that these recordings are kind of more aimed at your mental comfort, your mental relaxation of your mind, of, as well as your body. But relaxing your mind and calming your mind, which also calms your body in the same way that your body relaxing calms your mind. as I say many times in the past the brain and the body the mind and the body the head and the body they're all one thing they're connected that little thing called the neck and the spinal cord you know it connects it's not a separate thing is not a separate thing it's just you know it's like for me I class it as you don't class you class your stomach as your body and your chest as your body and your back as your body and your buttocks like class the head is the same it's part of your body a part of your body and your legs even though we call them limbs they're still connected and the reason I make that point is because when we no longer separate your mind toes from your stomach from your chest from your legs from your hands when we no longer separate your mind from your knees from the bottoms of your feet your toes your fingers becomes more useful and more of a realistic situation and less of a journey for that connection that is already there to take place because I know it sometimes can feel like the, the brain and the mind is their head is like a completely separate thing and it's somehow alien to your body when in fact it is your body because without the head there is no body literally nobody and all those cells So in your other parts of your body, those cells are shared throughout your whole body. So you could say that there's a mind. You have a mind in your hands. There's mind in your legs. Mind in your arms. Your stomach. And your chest. It's all part of your mind. back, buttocks, legs, feet, toes, ears, eyes, mouth, your neck, it's all part of your mind, and when you see it as connected, when you feel it as one, feel yourself as one, 
you're separating yourself from each other. You're no longer thinking of your right arm as something separate to your left leg. Of course, it's a different part of your body. You know, literally, your right arm does a different thing. It looks different. And, you know, it's different from your leg. It's not that different because it's part of you still made of the same cells that you are made of the same DNA material the same atoms you think about it you could take a sample of any part of your body take a DNA test from any part of your body it doesn't just have to be your head or your brain in fact we don't take DNA samples from the brain because that would be rather intrusive so if it's taken from your mouth or from underneath your toenails it's the same it's the DNA, it's your DNA you share it's your whole body and mind and brain and head eyes, skin blood all one which means that when you feel tired It's time to sleep. You can also feel tired in your arms. And when you realize that you're, you are one being connected in so many different ways. there's less to let go of it's much easier when you're travelling to just have one suitcase if you have six suitcases it's a hassle even if the suitcases are small and light, it's much easier to have just one. Because then you know where you are. Then you know what you need to look out for. You just need to keep an eye on that one suitcase. Rather than trying to juggle lots of different suitcases, everything's just in one place you can relax your mind to a level that maybe you didn't even realise that you could feel that relaxed with nothing left to worry about left to think about or be concerned about because there's so little to let go of it's just one thing the whole of you you can just let go to sleep
just being. when you allow yourself to get in touch with this feeling of completeness Yes.